Summer Auber and you're watching Contentment Channel. Welcome back. I'm standing in a big gigantic hole because we're going to get our septic tank delivered today. It keeps caving in so we have to work quickly. <laughs> So this is the engineer's report for the uh, septic system. And here are his recommendations. You know, this is how it's to be installed. These are the materials and you know, uses, how deep it's supposed to be. Uh, let me see, where's the... There we go. Here's the uh, leach field profile. And this is how the tank is supposed to go. Near the top of the hill, but three, at least three feet down, because it's a 1,500-gallon tank, can't do it. I'm sorry, no more than three feet down. And then uh, notice the gradual slope coming from the future house to the tank. But once it leaves the tank, we can go down precipitously if we want, down into the leach field at the bottom of the hill. And I'll show you where that's at. Um, whenever you dig a septic tank, you have to make sure it's not near any wells or anything like that. You got to protect your groundwater. And so, uh, you know, proposed residents, he's got this oriented wrong. It should be this way. Just turn this uh rectangle that way a little bit there's the well and our septic tank will be at least 50 feet from the well this is a 50 foot radius this is a 100 foot radius and then our leach field needs to be at least 100 feet from the well and he's got it showing that here are the test pits test pit one test pit two actually falls like right here at the end of the leach field so that's what we'll put the leach field in but uh anyway yeah, so we've got to dig the hole for this tank, and we've got to dig a trench going down the hill, and this is downhill, by the way, and then a leach field sort of halfway down the hill uh, in a leveled out area. This is the soils analysis here at Contentment, and uh, the engineer who was out here last year did a profile. Uh, we dug two test pits, and so we've got test pit one and test pit two, and this is what it says is in each one of them. The thing that caught my eye is that uh, this right here in test pit two, and I know which one that is, it says we've got sandy clay loam, yellowish dark brown, blocky, moderate to strong, extremely firm and dry. That's uh, between three feet and five feet roughly is what we've got there. That's really good because that's exactly what you need to make adobe brick right there. Now, a few years ago, we dug a test pit of our own here. We dug about three feet down in the same general area uh, as where these test pits were dug. And the stuff we found had about 18% clay. Uh, the engineer who looked at this uh, actually squeezed some out with some water, uh, did some you know field uh, testing with it, and uh, thinks that it's really good soil for adobe brick. So that's good to know. No, we've got it there. I'll d jump down into that test pit and verify it. I need to dig a 13 by 7 rectangular hole here. And then there'll be a trench that goes straight down the hill. And that's about, mm, about a 30 foot vertical drop from where the tank will be. To where the leach field will be. I don't know if you can see that uh, test pit out there, the the hill from it anyway. There's a pit there. Here's a test pit. Last year when we had the well dug, we asked the well drillers to come down here and dig uh, three test pits. And uh, that's this is test pit one. That's test pit two. I'll take you over there. But uh, you know we'll be obviously filling this in. This one will not be used when you dig a septic. You want to incorporate at least one of the test pits uh, that were inspected or that the, you know, that the uh, soils analysis was done on in your leach field uh, so that you can demonstrate you're putting it where the engineer, uh, you know, did his soils analysis and approved it. Somewhere between three and five feet down there in that pit is that yellowish brown moderately firm stuff that uh, that he was talking about 
since a lot of this native vegetation is going to be taken away in the process, uh, we'll just plant it back with some uh, native grass. You know, we'll just seed it with some native grass. Let it winter over, see how it does. We've got to dig down at least three feet into the side of the hill here and then level it out flat. Put in the infiltrators or chambers or whatever you call them and get them ready for inspection. But first, let's get up that hill, dig that septic and work our way down. <laughs> Got the hole dug, a couple of piles on either side. It does keep caving in in spots. It's all sand, so you know, it keeps caving in. But so you're right, we're gonna have to work fast. The truck that, that drops the tank is gonna have to pull up close to the side of the hole here. I hope not too close because of the cave ins. But that means that I've got to get rid of some of this soil here in this pile and move it elsewhere. So, and also here, look at the dog. So that, uh, so that we can get that truck up alongside here and it can do its work. see I'd cleared away you know, a good portion of that pile back there and some of this and then we had a major cave in and uh, so that's where this pile comes from but I think that the truck's just gonna be able to back up right here and drop it in but yeah this hole back here just keeps getting wider and wider I'll tell you we're afraid to sneeze break wind or do anything uh, for fear that we're gonna get more cave in here and who knows that when the truck gets out here that it's vibration may not cause something I don't know but uh, uh, Robert's gone to meet the truck should be here any moment and uh, we'll we'll get to going I'm gonna water this in now that's sort of level and here it comes a 1500 gallon two compartment septic tank with permanent filter here we go Please don't anybody sneeze because as it is, there's little bits of stuff falling in. The earth is starting to crack right there. All kinds of stuff. I mean, any little vibration from the truck might send some more of this down. It's just, it's really, I'm not happy. <laughs> the sand caves in so easily. This morning we were scrambling to get this thing cleaned out and uh, leveled again because we had a massive cave in. So anyway, there's the crew We're getting ready to drop this 13,000 pound, 13,365 pound septic, 1,500 gallon septic tank into this hole. It's a monster. Yeah, and then toward this corner, that should be good. That looks good. It's just got to come this way a little bit. <clears throat> the toward me. Yeah, this should be good. I hope. Good 
That was easy enough. What a relief. What a relief. That was really, really level. Yeah. I told you I leveled it. I'm surprised. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> There it is, nice and level. Now I don't care if the sides cave in. <laughs> in fact, just for grins, I may just take the rest of this dirt and roll it in there and wait, wait for the inspector before I do that side unless it just caves in and that'll be that. Inspector will just have to understand. But there it is, a uh, fairly expensive septic system that I never wanted, that I resent having to have, and that I hope, you know, and that maybe I'll never have to use. I, I don't know. I just, uh, septic. If you think about it, just the word septic. Who invites, who wants things that are septic, you know, on their property? 